This year's Tom Jones Invitational, the men's collegiate 100-meter dash, was set to be one of the fastest of this entire season. For this opening heat, we had immense talent from every single athlete in this field. In fact, the slowest personal best time for this opening heat was 10.15 seconds, so the odds of a fast time happening were extremely high. After a fair start, Matthew Bowling from the University of Georgia immediately jumped to the lead, and by the halfway mark, he was already about a stride ahead of everyone else. And with a finishing time of 9.98 seconds, with legal wind by the way, Bowling won this race by just over one-tenth of a second, and he has finally joined the Sub-10 Club for the men's 100 meter dash. This 9.98 now ties Bowling as the second fastest athlete in the world this season, and it also makes him the second fastest collegiate athlete in the NCAA, only falling behind Benjamin Azamati's incredible 9.90. This 9.98 is extremely significant. Back when Bowling was a senior in high school, he actually ran the single fastest 100 meter time ever for a prep athlete, running the exact same time of 9.98, and yes, this time was achieved with an illegal tailwind. But finally, some three years later, he's once again achieved a 9.98, but this time it was under legal conditions. Finishing in second for this opening heat was Terrence Jones from Texas Tech, followed by Dedrick Vanover, Courtney Lindsay, Javante Harding, and Devon Akane. This really was an incredible display of 100 meter speed, and with a time of 9.98, Bowling has unquestionably improved from his 2021 season, when his season's best was only 10.13. This sub-10 was a long time coming for Matthew Bowling, and if he can simply stay healthy this season and not overcompete, who knows, perhaps he'll surprise us when the national championships do arrive. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.